The project kicked off with trial plantation at Omahenene Crop Research Station in 2015 and production in 2016. Currently, 60 hectares of asparagus production is under irrigation, with its first harvest and processing of asparagus in cans expected to begin next year. An agri-processing asparagus plant is also under construction at Rwakana. Once completed, the plant will employ 1,200 people in addition to about 800 people who will be needed to work in the field. The first phase of the project is estimated to cost $150 million, which will include the planting of asparagus and training of small and medium-scale farmers. Asparagus project manager Cybrand Pothitel says only a small amount of asparagus will be consumed in Namibia, while for now 95% is earmarked for export to Europe. Asparagus is going to play a very important role on here Itunda as a high value crop. To make it succeed to small farmers, there must be always a market first. There must be expertise first, plus people that got the driven to make it successful. Apart from its health benefits, asparagus is also believed to cure some type of cancers. Port Hittel says the plant also has economical benefits and that it could last for 20 years to come, given positive results for its first harvest trial in November. Omsati um, Governor Genusenjala is happy that such high-value nutritious vegetable is being produced in his region, but especially that it will create much-needed employment opportunities for the inhabitants. In fact, it's a very good and a very exciting investment, to say. Um, from the beginning, we had... Um, we had uh, some uh, people that were a little bit pessimistic. They were not really thought that things would be to this stage. But um, I always have a belief that where there's a will, there's always a way. An opportunity was presented to test of an European delicacy referred by some as a distant cousin of the onion. Tonatenish Chile, Etunda.